Hey dolls, what's up? It's me, Miss Quiet. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Quiet, and you can make yourself at home, okay? And there are drinks in my fridge. Come put your cups on my bed. Get comfortable, because today, we're going to be trying on... What wig is this? Today, we're going to be trying the Alistair Perfect Hairline Julie Ann wig. Okay, so let's get started. Hey dolls. <laughs> Don't know why. I mean, like, it's not like I'm doing anything. I'm just not doing anything. Like, I'm just on my phone, staying up way later than I should. Playing The Sims, screwing around on Reddit, trying to find more reasons in the, about politics to get upset and scared. I'm sick of me. Today, we're doing a wig review. It has been a hot second. Guys, these wigs have been in my house for a minute. This bonnet is from Artist Styling Experience, the black-owned company. And it's a silk bonnet. The inside is like a nice cream color. It'll be in its own little video later on. But anyway, yeah, it's got a drawstring on it, guys. So I've been slacking it off in style, okay? Okay, dolls, real fast. We're gonna start a couple things. First things first, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Adam is quiet. Usually I'm not like this, usually my energy is like on 10. This is not an on zero episode. On zero means I'm miserable. This is, I'm just tired. I'm cold. I'm really cold. Anyway, we're gonna get into it. So Sam's booty. Not Sam's booty. <laughs> Sam's beauty. So me this wig. This is the Julie Ann Outtrip Purple Caroline Synthetic Wig, guys. And I'm excited. I am excited, actually. I she is an fully hand-tied 13 times 6 lace wig with HD transparent soft Swiss lace no plucking required baby hairs adjustable wide elastic band heat styling friendly okay all right okay sweet <laughs> so oh hi cat I can't stop my left feet isn't that nice okay so when I open the box it looks like this <laughs> I love these boxes it makes it look like something big and exciting is happening which it is so we've got the hair care on the back of the box and then here's Julian herself, straight out of the box is what she looks like. So here's the hair care card. So yeah, that's the card. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm so out of it. It's been a minute. Get off of here. Okay. So she came in this blonde brown color. I wanted her in the brown color, but they were all out. So blonde and brown would do. Okay, let's get all this extra jazz off so we can get to this. This, goodbye. Um, wow, it's so cold. For what? Okay, goodbye. She does have that big old fat band that they said that she had. Two on the side and one in the back. I don't know if you can see it though, but she's in there. I'm gonna plop her on my head. We know how this goes. She does have adjustable straps as well. Because <laughs> sometimes I'm not in the mood for blonde, because sometimes I do feel like, I'm not saying this is true because white people do not own that color, but sometimes I feel like it looks like I'm trying to be white, and that's never the case. Honey, it's never the case, I promise. But I just try to see how many hair colors I can slay in. Some black people have blonde hair, so I don't try to come for us with that. Don't. I mean, I could see her being cute once I get my face ready for life. Mmm. Look at this volume, ladies. <laughs> yes, honey. Okay, sister. Okay, girl. Um. See, looking at this, though, makes me feel like I should order her in brown right away. Because I feel like that would be so bomb. But this is like a cute bomb, bomb. She feels different. I like the volume. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Ooh, this is cute. Guys, I haven't stepped out like this before. With the little baby hair swoops. Ooh, let me take a drink. I'm asking the for some nutrients. I was born. Okay, honey. All right, sister. Okay, let's get her on my head. Okay. Ooh. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Okay, so I'm out of my funk. <laughs> I got 20 times more energy than I had at the beginning of this video. Let's get her on my head. Let's just start right now. <laughs> so today we're finally going to go in depth about how I do my synthetic wigs. So first I cut off the lace. When it's synthetic, I cut it off without the wig on my head because it doesn't really matter how you cut it. You don't have to do all the zigzag and the special cutting with a regular wig just because. Sharper scissors are better. Just I try to cut off as much as possible without cutting off any baby hairs or any regular hairs. And then I use a foundation that matches my skin, and I use that to tint the lace. So just take any brush and put it on the lace. Try to, like, not drown the lace in foundation. Just, like, lightly running it over there. Don't get too much. Try to keep it off your hair, especially if you have platinum hair or, like, light blonde hair. Because it will show up. It will show up, I promise you. So now that prepping is done, time to put baby girl on our head. Okay, so yeah, you can put on however you want, but I found that's the easiest way is to put your head into it and flip it over. Make sure the back is where it's supposed to be so the back comb should always be in the middle of your head. And it's best to have some hair clips to get it out of the way to like minimize your struggle while you put it on your head. So I'm going to just clip the hair back. And then you can use whatever glue you have. I always just use a got to be spray because I don't wear my wigs overnight. So I'll just spray some on there. And this spray dries fast. So as soon as I put it on there, I usually get a comb and I start holding it down 
done with blow drying it. I've learned that the longer you blow dry it, in the same area, the better. A lot of times I would try to rush and blow dry for like 20 seconds and then go all the way around my head. That is not worth it. It will come back up when you're on the other side. It will. You have to make sure it's secure. And also, I took forever to start using rat tube combs to hold it down. You should definitely do that because for one, the oils on your hand will turn. Got to be gel and lots of glues white and that's how you get crust. So, but also, using your finger and hold like, it's just not as good. I don't know why, but the wrap tube comb really holds it in the place a lot better. And don't move it. I always like, see, I was trying to pick it up and down. Don't do that. I don't know why I do that. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. So definitely just hold the wrap tube comb in place and blow dry for as long as you can. Be generous with the blow drying just to make sure it's secure so it won't lift when you're done. Now the wig is done for the most part, I'm just going to go in and check, see if any of these parts are lifting and, and secure any parts of the lace that might be lifting just to make it look as realistic as possible. I really did used to try to rush this process and it always showed. Don't try to rush the process. Sorry, rush the process. Anyway, get up early and do what you got to do. You want to look good. You want this to be done right. Set that standard for yourself that your wigs are always going to look on point. Because yeah, if you're lazy, it will show. It's not about how good you are. It's about how hard you try to make it look good. Okay, so now it's time for baby hairs. First of all, don't let anybody tell you you have to do baby hairs. Baby hairs are always optional. But I do love me some baby hairs, and I also like them to hide any flaws I may or may not have had. Now, this wig doesn't really need them. It looks decently natural, but of course, we're going to do them for the extra pizzazz, okay? So you could start out with deciding what parts you want. I thought about doing that, then I realized I kind of just want to do my baby hairs like just rogue because I've come to realize when I do my baby hairs and my hair is parted in the middle, they're less likely to come out all like rounded you know they come out like centered around the middle so usually there's two baby hairs coming away from the middle part and then to me that looks less natural i'd rather just them have them going around my head looping naturally so now rather than doing it in any part i'd rather put my hair up in like a, a lazy half up and just loop them naturally so it just goes around my head not focusing on any of the parts or anything so to do my baby hairs, I just take some foaming mousse, any foaming mousse from any beauty supply store. It doesn't, really, mine doesn't even really work. I just use it to get the shape ready, and then I take got to be sprayed, and I put it on there. The spray dries really fast. If you want to dry them faster, you can just blow dry it for like 10 to 15 seconds, and it will be pretty secure for real. So this is like the best way to me to do baby hairs. I've been doing baby hairs forever, and this is the way that works for me, definitely. And you can use the end of a rat tube comb to help sweep them some more if you want. Whatever works for you. You're going to figure out how baby hairs work best for you. But this is what works for me. Also, I suggest shaving your sideburns for better results. I have to do that. If you have sideburns, yeah, get them out of the way. They'll look better. And today, I can't remember what was going on. There was an issue. I was having an issue. So this side didn't look great. Some of them came out amazing, though. And definitely cut your hair shorter rather than longer. For sure. The shorter they are, the more realistic they're going to look. You just want them to swoop out to make a little round shape and come back in. You don't want them to look like miniature bangs, you know. And also, less hair is more. You don't want them to be thick because if they're thick, they don't look like baby hairs anymore. They look like weird uh, wet bangs, you know. So, yeah. See, I'm going to cut the ends. If they're a bit too long, I'll cut the ends just to make sure that they just loop back up. And you want to try and start the next hair right at the where your last baby swoop ended so okay so not above it don't pull hair out from above the swoop pull it right under the swoop trying to keep leave as little gap as possible between swoops to make it look most natural originally I would spray the got to be sprayed right into the toothbrush and I realized it wasn't really doing much for me so now I spray it onto the back or I spray it directly on my finger and go over it I don't use the gel in the baby hairs because I do that for my natural edges but for wig edges it's just too much it's too heavy duty it's too thick you don't want them to be thick you want as little product as little hair as possible to make it look most natural and finally I'm just gonna do the part so I'm just gonna go back and part my hair and I'm going to get some concealer after I've gotten this part decently defined. You could also pluck. I don't do that, though. So, yeah, I'm going to just take some concealer that is lighter than my foundation, and I'm going to go through the part as far back as it lets me. Sometimes you might only get an inch. Sometimes you might get a mile. It really just depends on the wig, but it will make all the difference to have a lighter part than your wig. And that is it, honey. Feel free to brush and style your wigs however you please, and you are good to go. That is how I slay my synthetic wigs on the daily. Those new B I T C H. Who's this? <laughs> I don't look like how I did in the beginning, did I? I look like a woman. Oh. Guys, I look so good. Wait, why did I not take selfies in portrait? What was I thinking?
Wow, this is cute. I feel grown and hot. I feel so hot right now, guys. I feel so attractive. I feel so good looking. What the heck? Mm. I feel womanly too. I feel like I could seduce my coworker in this hair. You know, maybe my boss, maybe not. We'll see. Guys, this is so cute. Okay, and I'm glad it's in blonde too. I'm super glad. It's still like bright. It's like a statement, but it's still short. It's not too extra. But it's getting the job done. I feel so freaking cute, guys. I feel so cute. I feel so cute. What do you think? What do you think? So originally I had it part on the other side, but this is my good side. And when I tried to come in here and put the freaking concealer in, I think I might have fallen back over, but it was not very easy. It did not do as well as the other side. I could change it back to the other side. I don't really want to, but I'll let you guys see. Wait, hold up. Let's talk about versatility. We could easily, guys, do whatever we want to do with this. So you could do half up, half down. You could do the middle part. I did not put any lace in the middle part. But I'll just show you guys. So this is what it looks like as my part. It's still cute. Still short but voluminous. Guys, I'm here for it. I'm not going to brush it down though. Because this is a voluminous wig. I don't do that to voluminous wigs. We keep them as voluminous as we can. One heck of a wig. This is like a favorite. I mean, my mind might change. But I will say like that bob wig, the brown bob, I loved it that day. But I mean, it's super cute still. But it doesn't give me the same effect it gave me the first time. I don't feel as such of a like I don't feel so brand new in that one but this one is giving me life right now and I hope it continues because this is something new this is cute this is different I'm living for it I'm absolutely living for it guys like look at me in that color the color is so cute but it's not too much because it's got the black so it still kind of looks natural too um because sometimes I get tired of blonde just so much but this is like it. This is so cute. It comes in a brown chocolate swirl. Then it comes in a ginger brown, a honey brown, and this is honey blonde and a red velvet. A red velvet? That one is probably hot. I kind of feel like I need that one. She's not a tangler. She's not. Is she shedding? I have not really felt any shedding on me at all. She's a good wig, guys. She fit my head pretty well. I, feel, I would say she's big head friendly. I don't have anything bad to say about her. Oh yeah, besides the part, like, when it comes to doing the part, there's not very much wiggle room. It's like the tracks are right here. So there's not that much parting space on the sides, but you can still make it work. It doesn't have to be perfect. See, like, this is all I'm doing. Who am I trying to please? This is what I want my hair to look like. So I like it like this. But like, the realisticness of a side part is not that easy to obtain, I would say. That's the only flaw with this wig. Other than that, she's such a beauty. Um, let me see how heat safe she is. Heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. This is a QE. Oh my gosh, guys. And you can even braid the top down too. Like the girl, the model has her top braided down and everything. How cute. This is my favorite. I hope that this wig lasts me a long time, which it will actually. This wig is going to be here for a while. You guys are going to be seeing me wearing her a lot because I feel so cute. Oh my gosh. Perfect way to end the summer with this wig. Yes. Okay. So. But I guess that's where this video ends because I don't have that much to say about her because she's great. Like, I don't have anything bad to say. Where'd my phone go, though? I'm going to do the comment of the day if I can find it. A wizard mummy in Martian said, how do you do glossy makeup? Is it highlight or body lava? Okay, so... I don't do body lava. I just use my Vaseline and lotion routine. So if you go to my homepage and scroll a little bit, you'll find my skincare routine because people always ask, so I try to put it on my homepage. How do I do glossy makeup? So I do my Vaseline and lotion routine. So literally, it's just rubbing Vaseline and lotion on my face every day. And then after that, I do that right before it's time to like do my makeup. So it's sitting there for a long time. And then I do highlight. It's gonna be different for everybody, but I highlight my brow bone. I highlight right in my inner corners. Here on my nose and here on my nose. I don't highlight all the way down where I look funny. And I do right above my cupid's bow. I also apply lipstick around the edges of my mouth like you would a lip liner and then I do lip gloss and then I do highlight on the sides and that is how I achieve the glossy look okay but yeah that's how I get my glossy look every day I cannot be dry I just don't like it I just don't like it I think I look so much prettier when I'm shiny <laughs> that's that if you don't like um fasting lotion being bad for your skin I think you could try the hydrate serums just make sure you do well that's good for oily skin because I don't think adding more oil to your skin is the answer I don't know much about skincare I really don't I just got lucky so yeah this is the end of this video if you like this wig make sure you go get it thank you Sam's Beauty for sending it to me thank you Outtrade I love it so much this was a hit and I will see you guys in my next video okay bye